All right, another Japan great. We are up to August. Slowly working our way to get caught up. August. Got some stuff on August in Japan. Ooh, there's an experimental drink I just saw. I didn't want to read about it though. It's a Goy Crate. Hmm. Yeah, that would have been pretty good. I'd like to win a Sony PlayStation 4 and some big ass Pocky. And some other good stuff. But I never win it. But let's see what we got. Looks like some good stuff here. Man, they pack it so neatly. Yeah. Okay, this looked kind of like a dog bone when I first saw it. So I said, well, let's check it out first. It's really light, whatever it is. Okay, it looks like it took me a while to find it. There's a lot of similarly shaped things in my appearance. Looks like Yaukin Fugashi. With a sponge like airy texture and a crunchy sweet coating of black sugar. Fugashi is a simple and tasty retro Dagashi snack. One Japan crate staff member described this as eating a cloud. <laughs> Okay, I like the I like the uh, black sugar reference. Uh, sponge like, not so much. Oh gosh, it's easy to crush. I'm barely touching it. Are you falling in? Get that before I break it. That is so light. I mean, it's almost. I almost feel like if you let it go, it would just start floating up. Not really spongy. It's pretty good. It's not a lot of taste. I'm not getting taste from the middle, but I'm getting the, uh, the dark sugar. I'm curious to see if I can tell how many calories it was. Because it's so light. But apparently, it, it says 360 kilocalories, which kilocalorie is a real calorie, is what we call a calorie. But what we call a calorie is actually a thousand calories. So this is 360 of our calories and just that little bitty airy thing. So I guess this is a sugar. I don't know. Good eating though. Never anything quite like that. Now I have had some little things like this. Little stars here. Little hard stars. I haven't had this exact product, but let's see what it is. These things are so they're so little. It's hard to tell without really getting pretty close at what's what. Even then, I'm having a hard time. Okay, Bucci Campeto. This star-shaped candy is one of Japan's most famous sweets and has been featured in many movies and gay and anime. Similar to rock candy and comes in a huge range of colors. We love using it to sweeten our coffee and tea. Wow. Must be real sugary. Wouldn't have thought of putting any coffee or tea. I, I like my coffee black, so I don't really care about sweetening it. I like a lot of sugar, so I just learned to break it back. Not that I mind eating that much sugar. I just, it's just too lazy to add it everything. I never could figure out milk, so I just quit even trying to figure out how much milk to put. So I never got it right. It'll be hard little things here. I tried coffee. I'm interested to see how quick it would melt. It's really hard. Just like sugar, eating sugar. Which ain't nothing wrong with that. Here we have a little bottle like contraption of some kind.
can't wait till I was in it. Okay. Natsukashi Ramane. This candy will definitely bring some memories to a lot of Japanese. Which, okay, but most of us do get Japan great or Japanese, probably, but. Uh, another popular find in old Degashi stories. Ramane candy has a powdery feel and dissolves in your mouth. The cute bottle also looks like miniature Ramane bottles. So we got something like this in Tokyo Treat too, but it, it, was, it looked more like a bottle than this did. Okay. Oh, he's got a, it's got a little piece in it. I don't, you can barely see it probably, but... No, it's not exactly filled to the rim. It's only filled up to that face. But that's okay, I guess. Just little, like little marshmallows, but hard ramen and candy. Mm. Oh, it melts in your mouth. Boom, it's gone. Didn't even have to chew it. It's good. It's got a good flavor to it. I thought I'd have to chew it a little bit, but no. <laughs> That thing starts to melt as soon as it hits your tongue. Which was kind of surprising. Okay, this is apparently some kind of cola flavored thing. Which I have no problem with that. Sour cola paper candy. Oh, you know I love sour. Sour, man, it's so small. It looks like it says belts, which doesn't make sense, but sour gummy belts are always a favorite, and these come in a color flavor. You can peel off strips from the belt lengthwise and enjoy it strip by strip. We had fun trying to separate the belt into as many strips as we could. I guess they call it a belt because it's long. I don't know. As you can see, it's cool colored. Not sure how a strip thing worked, I guess. I'm not really seeing strips. I guess if you pull it, pull on it, you can see little strips. I just want to break it off where I can try it. There we go. It was kind of like seaweed, but color colored. That's really good. I mean, it's got a strong color taste, man. There at the end, I almost got like a little, little goose of cola flavor. On top of what was already there. Another thing with cola flavor, you know, you can taste cola, but that's that strong, but that's, that's the best cola flavor I've had. That is good. Is it a little sour? Uh, not really, but. I mean, some people probably think so, but, you know, this looks like a very good DIY, or a very interesting one. Probably because I've already seen the name of it when I first opened the book. Plus, you know, I was born to be a scientist, even though I went the wrong way and ended up not being, but just got science references here with test tubes and stuff, so Crayon Shinchan Experimental Drink. Crayon Shinchan is playing the role of a mad scientist in his lab of candy. Mix the different elements in the flask to create a mysterious and tasty cola flavored potion. And there was more about it in the front of the book. Oh, it actually it comes with a test tube, too. Cool. That's the uh, page. Add water, add the stuff, mix it up in the test tube. Cool, I, I have to do that one. I'm terrible about not doing DIYs, but... That's going to the top of my must-do DIY list. And the cola flavor, so that, that's even better. I just noticed there's a little girl here who looks kind of like the girl in uh, Achi Achi Kochi. 
he was always wearing a lab coat. Always doing crazy stuff. But that has nothing to do with your bag, right? But okay, we've had good stuff so far. So I'm going to go down to something that probably won't be that good to me. Satori Matcha. That look, doesn't look good to me. Not a big matcha fan. Satori mean or Shatori Satori Shatori they can spell it both ways okay it means soaked and these delicious puffs are soaked in a sweet matcha sauce Satori matcha rounds off this month's crate with a nice balance of creamy and crunchy yeah we'll see soaked in matcha not, not my favorite Looks just like the cover. Looks like a little sponge, don't it? <clears throat> that looks sponge like to me. Thank you, my bad. It's chewier than, chewier than I thought it'd be. I thought it was just, you know, real dry. Uh, I thought you saw the dry tasteless little thing, but it's a little chewy. It's pretty good, actually. Basically for matcha. Got some kind of little biscuit here. Jump over that chocolate inside. Let's get one of them, I think. That is an Usiyaki cookie. Utsuyaki means thin, so this snack gives you a creamy chocolate filling sandwich between two thin and crispy biscuits. We have to pair this with a cup of tea. Well, you may have to do that, but I ain't. Oh, there's two of them in here. No, there's three. Three little, and they're not broken. I don't want one of them. They are thin. Definitely thin. You can see sort of chocolate in the middle there. Yeah, here's what, we, what the inside look like. Looks good. Actually, it started tasting better toward the end. I mean, it was alright at the start, but something kicked in there at the end. Pretty good. It's a thin little cookie with chocolate. Alright, now this looks very, very encouraging, but I've been disappointed by this kind of thing before. But as you can see, this is some kind of snack. Pizza flavored. Yeah, it's just a little ball thing apparently, but to make it look all enticing on the front. I think I've had some pizza flavored something before and it just didn't live up to what I was expecting. I'm not sure if it was this or something different. Well, this been something different. This is special pizza flavored Texas corn. You know Texas egg corn. I'm sure they have every state has corn, but you know, you don't really think of Texas as a corn state. Uh, JC and JC and Akko tried their hand at mad science to make pizza and ended up with these Texas corn. Oh, ended up with these. Texas corn is a brand of chips in, in Japan. Oh, okay, so Texas chip. Texas corn is the name of a potato chip in Japan, apparently. Uh, in, this, in this month's crate, we have special pizza flavor. Each puff tastes like pizza sauce. Oh, if it were only true. We'll see. This bag's full too, brother. Up to the top. You gotta mash stuff down just to be able to open it. I like that. Ah, there we go. Yeah, they got a little pizza sauce flavor. And, and, I mean, smell. Aroma. Here we go. Here's one of them. 
even if I tell you, smell it while I'm chewing, I still don't get the pizza flavor. Not really. They're good, but I definitely wouldn't say that's pizza flavored if I didn't know what it was supposed to be. But still good eating. We got some more puff things here. There's a frog on the front. I'm pretty sure they're not frog flavored, but that frog looks a little too happy to be, you know, part of the meal. So it looks familiar. I've had something like this before. What is this? This is ah, Jabetsu Taro. These come in a brown sauce flavor, like takoyaki. Or Worcestershire sauce with a sprinkling of non flakes. This is so small. Nori flakes. Okay, these come in a brown sauce flavor like takoyaki or Worcestershire sauce with a sprinkling of nori flakes. They're so addictive that in Japan they come in an XXL size bag. We think they taste a bit like vinegar and that's us wanting to eat takoyaki. Got some more about it over here. Been around since 1981. Considered a nostalgic item as people have memories of snacking on these as a child. It's said that the name Kabetsu Taro is a pun on the Japanese folklore Mama Taro or Peach Boy. I need to find that folklore. That's sounds interesting. Chabetsu means cabbage in Japanese. However, there is a cabbage in this snack. The flavor comes from a brown sauce that's used often in Japanese cuisine. Sauce, or susu, is the Japanese version of Worcestershire sauce. A bit thicker and sweeter. Soso. Sosu is made with fruits, vegetables, and spices. <coughs> Don't read it all. So, and again, full. Not all but full. Spicy looking thing on there, that's encouraging. Those are good. Can't really describe the taste. I mean, there's definitely a, a taste kick that you get from it. Pretty good, pretty good. Got some mogu chew. If this is gum, I probably won't be able to do it right now, but Mogu Cho Mogu Chu chewing candy. It's hard to chew gum in Japan as public trash bins are hard to find and spitting gum on the street is frowned upon. That's why it's more common to find chewy candies in Japan. Mogu Cho offers a sweet strawberry flavor with a nice chew to take the place of gum. I only get gum, I mean for me to chew it, you know, like 30 seconds, the taste is gone. What's the point of keep chewing it? I can't blow a bubble, so there's really no point in me to keep going. But, you know, I need people in school that would chew gum all day. I just can't stand gum that long. And once the flavor's gone, I'm, I'm done with it. I'm going to try the... I don't like about the Japanese gum, it basically melts in your mouth, it doesn't stay, so hopefully these aren't too sticky. Yeah, I can't see a, a Japanese citizen spitting gum down on the street. I bet you look under death in Japanese schools, you ain't gonna find a lot of gum stuck there either. In America is everywhere. It feels really hard. What these are, you know, from August, so. But I love how individually wrapped here. Japan even wraps stuff well. 
no half-assed wrapping jobs in Japan. So it's not pink as I thought it might be, but okay, that, that was good. That was good. It does uh, have a consistency of gum, uh, bubble gum, more chewing gum. <coughs> good, good, uh, good flavor. Quite good. I've never had, I've never had a Japanese gum I didn't like. <coughs> so I'm gonna read about these next ones with the light on, and then I'm gonna turn it off because I know it, it's annoying. Uh, let's see. Here we got some kaku crackers, which may not be that good because they're kaku vegetable crackers. Even though I've had vegetable crackers that didn't taste like vegetables, so. Uh, Sankaku means triangle, which explains why these crackers come in a cute triangle shape. While they're great by themselves, the vegetable flavor also pairs well with toppings like cheese or ham. Now this looks and feels interesting. Got a tower of some sort there. These are Mitarashi Fumi Kibi Dango. Apparently, this is the bonus for the month. Mitarashi Dango is a well known traditional sweet in Japan, similar to Moki. Dango are rice cakes that are put on skewers and covered with a sweet red salt, sweet and salty soy sauce glaze. This snack takes the texture and taste of Mitrashi Dango and packs it into a convenient chewy snack. The edible rice paper keeps things from getting too sticky. I know they want about Moki. So we're going to see how this tastes. I mean, it doesn't expire until 2020, so it's, you can take it into the bottom shelter with you. Oh, hands are still sticky from the gum. But it's wrapped and then it wraps some more. I don't think this is edible. That didn't seem edible, edible to me. But I also can't get past it. <sighs> my paper sticking because my gum, my gum made my finger sticky. I might have to eat the paper whether I want to or not. I can't get it out without it. Come on. Hmm. That is edible. Just as I was right in your mouth. I'd still rather have this without a lot of paper. But screw it, I can't get it past it. We're going to eat with the paper. Pretty sticky. Can't say I love it. It does remind me of Moki. Interesting. I've never had edible paper before. I could eat it. But I have a feeling a few more bites, I'd be sick of it. Oh, I've got to turn my light off. Oh, well, I forgot to read about everything else, too. Oh, well. I did read about the crackers, I think. I yeah, the best for crackers. And the oh, a little bin or something here. Oh, look at that. They are triangle. Pretty equilateral, not perfect, but pretty good. The only thing vegetable name for you because they don't taste like vegetables. So believe me, I'm not a big vegetable eater. Pretty good. Our biggest bag. Uh, 
kind of weird looking. It's got a big P or something on here. P cracker. That's a new one on me. Tohokto Mami Soupy Chips. Tradition. No, I have a toasted pea flavor with a hint of salt and a big crunch. A nice change from your usual chip flavor. The Japan Cray staff found themselves unable to keep their hands out of the bag. I don't know about pea chips. Now, vegetable crackers didn't taste like vegetables, so we would. Maybe this won't taste like peas because I don't really like peas. You know, if I'm eating something with pea in it, that's okay. I mean, I'm talking about peas, peas, green peas. That's the only kind of pea I want anything to do with. But, you know, vegetable soup, something like that, it's fine. But I don't just eat peas. I don't like the peas. Thing, but I'm always scared of anything that's green. If it ain't lettuce or broccoli. They're bad. They don't taste like sweet peas to me or peas of any kind. They're not as good as real regular chips, but I could eat them. Got it some lemon candy. I love lemon candy. Let's hope someday to get some more of the gosh, I can't remember what it's called. It was this oh incredibly sour lemon. Super lemon, super lemon. Oh, I love me some. Of that. I want some more. I want some more of that. Japan create people. If you if you're watching, get see me some more. Super lemon peas. This is lemon shine candy. Surprisingly, this hard candy isn't as sour as we thought. It's sweet and tart, like a fresh glass of lemonade. Each candy has a different face print on the wrapper. So kawaii. They look like, uh, kind of like lifesavers. I do love lemon candy. Even if it ain't super sour. It must have been sealed by a sumo wrestler or something. Because there's no way to get into it. Crap, it. That's pretty cute. I guess that's what they mean by the little picture. This one's got a little smiley face. Oh, you, know, you got yeah, a little smile in his, and then it's clearly on the wrapper, as you can tell, because if I move it, uh, his eye moves. So, let's try it. It's actually a lot uh, taller than I uh, thought. It's bigger than a lifesaver. Yeah, this lemon chow is good. It's, it's not really sour at all, so if you like lemon, this is great. As far as taste, you know, it's probably the best lemon candy I've had. It has a lot of taste. So, I still like super lemon better just because I love that sour stuff, but those are really good. And leave this with that drink, which is Wakayama Mikan Soda. Seedless and easily peeled citrus fruit. The Mekon is a po is popular in Japan. Waki uh, Waki Wak Waka Waka Wakayama is a prefecture that's known for their Mekon and this bubbly soda captures the bright citrus flavor. And it has a lot more about it on another page. Apparently it's uh, Wakayama Prefecture is just south of Osaka, and it's known as the the Fruit Kingdom, because it produces most of Japan's fruit. So Mekon is a fruit. I didn't know that. I wonder if that's who, if that's you know like Mekon Yugi, Kula Ru, if she's named for the fruit. So we're gonna give it a shot. 
but I've had some really good drinks in the last few boxes. And it said seedless, so I'm hoping that means there's no pits or nothing in here either. Oh, that's good. That is good. It has its own flavor. I don't know how to describe it. It doesn't taste anything like orange or peach or anything. I've never had Mekon to know if it tastes like that food or not. I'm assuming it does, but yeah, that is good. I like having more of that. So, this was a pretty good box. Everything was edible. And the only thing I didn't really like was the pea crackers. And, uh, the Yamkin Fugashi wasn't that great.